when we decided to do this show a long time ago, I said that we're never gonna keep doing the same thing over and over. It's all about doing different things. And I'll tell you what, we are on a hunt today that we've never done before, but we're actually not using any kind of weapons. We're actually gonna be hunting for mushrooms. And I don't know anything about hunting for mushrooms, but I love to eat mushrooms. I mean, I just, uh, it's one of them kind of things where, you know, you're always looking at doing different things, eating different things, learning different things. So when you don't know what to do, you find somebody that does know a lot about things. And you know what? This week we're very fortunate. We have Uncle Perry. Uncle Perry, how's it going today? Good, good. You know what? <clears throat> Obviously, you are a mushroom connoisseur. Yeah, we are. For, for years. And so what really kind of got you into mushroom picking? You know, I've been hearing more and more the last few years about all these mushrooms. More and more people are getting into this yeah. and because they are so delicious, but it's also a great way just to kind of get back out in the woods. Yeah, get out in the woods in spring and look for them. There's, they're real desirable. They're gourmet, kind of. Um, they bring big money if you want to sell them, but most... We never sell them, we just want to eat them. Right. I'm all for that. Big, big steak and put some morels on top. Hey, I spend a lot of time in the woods, Perry, and uh, I never see any mushrooms. Well, we're going to show you something. So I don't know how I'm not, like, not seeing them, yeah. you know? Hey, everybody, hang on to your heinies. We're going to go mushroom picking. To start walking into the woods what are we actually looking for i usually look for elm trees there's mushrooms growing a lot of different trees i guess apple trees and they say ash trees which a lot of them died the last couple of years but maybe find some there but apples and apple trees and uh, elm trees are the main trees we're looking in wisconsin for. they grow in different trees like in illinois you find them in cottonwood trees out out west you'll find them under aspen after fires go through and there'll be a lot of mushrooms then so different Different areas, different uh, trees they grow by. Well, how long does a tree have to be dead before actually a mushroom starts growing? And how, I mean, if you have trees that have been dead for three, four, five years, is there still going to be mushrooms underneath Usually them? Usually they don't produce anymore after that. You want that first year with no buds on the tree at all anymore and the white bark kind of cracking off of it. That's that's like a big plus if you see a tree like that. That's when you kind of go for it and, okay. and start there, you know. Well, we've got a bunch yeah, of a trees of behind right us here. that are dead, so yeah. Yeah, I think we got a pretty we'll good shot of actually yeah. hopefully yeah. finding hopefully some. Some, yeah. Okay. I don't see any of this tree. No, those are two dead. That one might be good right there. That, that one over there? The shaggy bark on it. You know, you're right next to the tree now, so if they're gonna grow, they're gonna grow right in here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that is... There it is, man. What? Look Seriously. at that. Seriously, this Big is. Big ones. Holy moly. And, oh, look at this one. You stepped, almost Holy. stepped on two of them. How do they just all of a sudden? Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta keep on looking. Yeah, because I just saw this one, and all of a sudden look you're like, oh, here's another one, here's another yeah, one. Look at how big they are. Holy cats! Woo! This is cool, big time. No, I can't, you just and I'm stop. And don't keep on. You almost stepped on those. Just yep. don't. Now, so probably now, more of them. So now, how do be, you actually pick them? We'll take them and just kind of peel that back and then yep. pinch them down low. Oh, you try to get them as low as you can. I smell it. Oh, that smells good. All that stem is good, you know. The whole stem. But you don't want to really pull them out and tear the roots out there. That's the kind of, there you go. Just perfect. like that, kind yep. of just give them a little twist, two huh? more. Oh, look at, oh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> hey, there's another one right here. Another, and fresh. Yeah. Look at that. Gonna be aw look oh. at that. Oh. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. Holy man. I can't believe that all of a sudden you see one and yeah. I'm like. It's like they hide. I, yeah, it's just like all of a sudden then they all appear. Yeah, there'll be more of them. Oh, I see some. Look at that one. Look at that size of this one right here. Ooh, Perry. Monster. Jackpot. Oh. There. Oh. Now, I would. Oh, here's another one right here. 
here's another one right here. No, is there a certain point where you don't pick them because they're too small or? I mean, there's like still private, a nice one. private land. Those are really good size, but private land, you can let them, let them grow and in the right conditions, they'll keep growing and sporing out and making more. There's one. Got one? Yeah. Nice. Just, is there more or just that one? Just one so far. A good one too? Smaller, but fresh. Well, we got a heck of a good start already, I can tell you that, Perry. Yeah, looks good. That's probably a good meal right there, huh? Oh yeah, definitely for three of us. I'm excited about cooking them up too. So. Some more. Hey, let's keep going. I don't want to stop now. I'm just start <laughs> hooked. Get the eye for it. Oy! <laughs> so Perry, you're saying now this tree ahead of us is probably going to be a prime tree. Yeah, huh? it's the white bark. It looks awesome. The Auburn thing's dead up on top. It's a big tree. It might produce a lot. You might find a mother load. You never know. Oh, so far I think we're doing pretty we're doing good, good yeah. right? We're doing good. Oh, they're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> You are so right about this tree fair. Oh my gosh, I look, every place I look now, I'm seeing them. Wow. Yeah, here's one right there. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Oh, look at that big one. Oh. Told you. Oh, there's some more right here. There's yep, you were right, 100%. Holy cats. Oh, here's another one right next to this one, Perry. Yep, look at them all. Right there, look at it. Oh, oh my look goodness. at the size of the head, Oh, those are good. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, uh, I love the smell of that. Perry, let's talk a little bit about what the perfect conditions are for mushrooms. And when you're looking for mushrooms, what side of the tree would you typically start looking at? You start in the early season, you get up on the east, east side of a ridge or something. So the sun hits in the morning and warms that ground up. And then those, as, a, as the season progresses, you're going to be more on the west side and the back side of hills because it gets warmer at that, that stage of the spring and it warms that hill up on that side and they're going to start growing. At 50 degrees at night kind of, that once you see that 50 at night, 48, that's when they're going to start growing. You watch for crab apple trees when they blossom, lilac, lilac bushes when they well, full bloom, that's going to be a sign to find okay. mushrooms. It's warm enough then that the lilacs are blooming and that, that proves that it's warm enough to grow mushrooms. And you like it when you get a, a mixture of rain in there yeah, at night. It's gotta huh? be Just enough. It's gotta be moisture. Yep. It's too dry, you, won't, you have a bad year, you won't find any hardly. Okay. Hey Perry, I see some more good trees up the hillside yeah, here. A lot we haven't hit. Boy, yet. if we find one more tree like that last yeah. one, this bag will be full. Yep. Gold. Oh, that is. It's like gold for sure, Perry. I agree with you. Look at all these mushrooms right here. Wow. Man, oh man. Fill that bag up. Fill that hat up. There you go. Left my bag way back there. Look at this. Oh, here's another one. Right. It's all of a sudden it's funny because all of a sudden you just like start looking. You get one in your hand, your eyeballs are already moving on to the next search. Look at them all the way. Oh, I told you I was gonna go that way before. <laughs> This is insane. Look at them all the mushrooms. That's definitely. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what, Uncle Perry certainly was a learning curve this morning for me. Fun. I learned a lot about the woods that I never knew anything about. Like I said earlier, can't believe how many times in my life I have probably stepped over yeah, these mushrooms there. without even ever really recognizing what they were. So now let's tell everybody what we're going to do with them. Now we're going to slice them in half and rinse them out real good and put a little salt water on them so they get the bugs out and stuff and we're going to fry them up and Make them. Hey, that's the part that I've been waiting all morning for. Yeah. Hey, everybody, hold on to your heinies. Let's move to the next process here. 
So you actually cut them in half. Yeah, then you can see better. Yeah. And get, you know, that just blowing all that, whatever you got in there, junk out. They look real clean. Yep. Yeah. Now that you've cleaned them all up and, and cut, cut them up, let's uh, show everybody what the next process is. And I saw that you drained all the water off. Yeah, you want to get the water, otherwise you got to cook all that extra moisture off. And uh, there'll be a lot of moisture when you start, and they'll come up to a boil, and you just keep on mixing them around until the water's pretty much all cooked off, and flip them over so they get cooked through. And once they start popping, I always say that they're uh, looking for moisture, and then add a big chunk of butter and stir it around and get them a little bit brown, and a little salt and pepper. And Game on. Eat. But do not put the butter in right away. No, put the butter in at the end. Okay. All the juices are just about cooked off now, and they're just starting to pop a little bit. You want to get all that out. And now, I'm going to add a butter, a big chunk of butter. Woo! It is that time. It is mushroom time. I can smell them from all the way out there. Boy, the aroma in the house is, boy, I don't know, the last time I smelled something that good was, ah, the last time I was at a Jennifer Lopez concert. Woo! I want. I'll tell you what, Uncle Perry. Man, good. they smell delicious. I'm gonna grab a fork. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I can understand why you were so picky when you were uh, yeah, save every cleaning them. Yep, man, that is absolutely fantastic. Oh. Mm. oh, Hey, everybody, hope you enjoyed our show this week. We certainly are all about doing different things. And speaking of doing different things, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have hundreds of different videos out there of all different things that we do from hunting, fishing, mushroom picking, magnet fishing. It's just endless. So join our YouTube channel. Remember, like I always say, what a great day it is to be alive.